A very typical type of problem is one where you want to predict one of many possible classifications. For example, predicting the species of a plant shown in an image. And we call this multi-class classification. So here I've got three logistic regression models. The naive way to perform multi-class classification would be to have a binary model for each different class, which I want to make a prediction for, and then just take the one that's most confident. But in a few steps, these binary models can be combined into one and adapted to perform multi-class classification. So to get multiple outputs from one of these linear layers here, we can just use a weight matrix instead of a weight vector. So in this layer here, I've got this weight vector, which looks something like this. And I've got the same thing for each of those different models, the yellow one and the green one. But if I were instead to use a weight matrix, then I'd get a model that looks something like this. And this weight matrix is of size in by out. And so each of these columns of weights corresponds exactly to one of the pairs of weights which I saw in each of the models earlier. So these ones are the red ones. These ones are the yellow ones. And these ones are the green ones. And the function for this model on the right is something like this. The prediction y hat is equal to xw plus b. Now I haven't applied the sigmoid on the end of that yet, but I'll do that now. This is getting somewhere, but it's not quite right yet. So hold on. Just before we take the next step, notice a few things. Firstly, this bias b is a vector. We've got a different bias for each one of these outputs. And I've got three outputs here, but generally we refer to that with the letter K, the number of outputs, K different outputs. So B is a K vector, my Y hat prediction is a K vector, and my logits, everything in here, these unnormalized probabilities, they are also K different values. But this isn't quite right yet for multi-class classification. If we were to simply take a logistic regression model and change number of outputs, applying the sigmoid function element-wise to the output, then that would be a multi-label classifier, not a multi-class classifier. A multi-label classifier outputs a number of independent binary predictions, which can all be true, essentially predicting different labels at the same time. A multi-class classifier outputs a single distribution over multiple labels predicting one out of many. So here, because the sigmoid has been applied element-wise, all of these outputs are totally independent. And for the output of a multi-class classifier to represent a probability distribution, all of its values need to be between zero and one and sum up to one. The way they currently are, they could all be very close to one, they could sum up to more than one because I've predicted three independent binary distributions. And if we wanna do multi-class classification, which is where we're picking one out of those K different classes, then I need the output to be a distribution over those different classes. I can only assign a maximum of one probability across the three in my case. And so to achieve that, we need to apply a softmax function instead of an element-wise sigmoid function. So I'm gonna remove that. The softmax function takes in a vector of real numbers and turns it into a probability distribution. So the overall multi-class logistic regression model looks like this. It takes in numerical features and outputs a vector probability distribution over k different classes. And it's still fully differentiable. All the operations here, the linear transformation between the features and the logits and the softmax, they're all fully differentiable. And what that means is that this can still be trained with gradient descent. And this is one of the most common models in production today.